and Damon Reed. What a night for him, the former Tommy Morrison sparring partner, who's a big mate of Craig Cummins, the no-hoper, who actually floored Steve Collins when he came over here. He says he plans something similar for Hyde. There might be a bit of ring rust for Hyde, but a right hand gets through straight away, and that seemed to hurt. Reed, oh, and a left hook's got him down! Within the opening, what was that, 10 or 15 seconds? And I'm not sure Reed will get up. He's never been in with a fighter at this level. Mandatory, he's cut as well underneath the left eye. Rudy Battle is asking him again, are you all right? He's not sure about it, you know, neither am I. Battle says, put your gloves up. The referee almost didn't want to let that go on, and I think he's going to dive in here. And he's, oh, he's waving it. I think he's going to wave it off. Reed, oh, it's all over in no time at all. And it was, I'm afraid to say, a predictable pass. It, it was. It, you can't say anything more. He was not equipped for a fighter of Hyde's calibre, and he shouldn't have been in the ring. It was Hyde can only fight who's in front of him. He did his work right. A few good punches from Hyde were all it took. And he didn't, the referee was right, he didn't look as if he, he wanted to go on. Well, we mentioned the Rocky story. You know, you can get to Rocky Balboa to beat Apollo Creed in the movies, but the reality, the hard reality of boxing is giving away all that weight, and with the huge jumping class, first time he was hit, he was blown away, and the WBO do have to ask themselves seriously how they allowed that fight to be sanctioned. Well, Hyde started very, very calmly, as he would. There's the right hand, just gets through the guard. He's everything trying to get out of the way there, Demon Reed. And nothing to come back from him. Scampering along the ropes, almost in fear of the punches coming from Hyde there. And that was a, a good left hook. Well, I'm sure that Herbie Hyde, although he'll be glad to have a first round win, and he is coming back after 10 months and a difficult time in his life. Maybe it was right that he wasn't put in with anybody of the highest class, but this was definitely going to the other extreme. Yes, I think this was a very long way from the, the, the highest class. I can only do what, what he has to do, and you know, he did it, but the other guy shouldn't have been in there. And we've just got the official time, 52 seconds. This is the fastest win in heavyweight title history, beating James J. Jeffrey's win over Jack Finnegan in 1900. 52 seconds, a new record at the 9X in Manchester tonight. Well, Damon Reed will go in the record books for something anyway. There's the stoppage, Rudy Battle knew he couldn't let him continue. He was completely out of his depth. And Herbie gets the win that he wanted, but I don't think he was that happy with it. He could have done with a little more work. I'm afraid to say it was all too predictable. And Herbie Hyde now, he's talking about Lennox Lewis, he's talking about people running scared from him. He now has to be moved in and fight and beat a big name. Yes, he's got to. He's got to have the, the the big names, and that certainly wasn't the fight that he needed. Ladies and gentlemen, following the knockdown and the following action, referee Rudy Battle had to call a halt to the bout. The end comes at 52 seconds of the very first round. The winner by knockout victory, and still the reigning WBO heavyweight champion of the world. No.